you've been on a couple of tours of this place now, you must be excited to have seen the progression over the, the last sort of year. Yeah, definitely. I was only out here a few weeks ago and it's already um, continuing to grow and it's pretty much nearly there. Um, so it's super exciting for us coming into a new season, hopefully pretty soon, um, that we'll be in here nice and early. And, uh, and they're saying, hey, play some games. The end, maybe back end of this AFLW season, that would be uh, a great a thing to be a part of as well. Yeah, well, uh, like Andrew touched on, we've been pretty much everywhere across Queensland um, playing football and training recently, so to have somewhere to call home is, is really exciting for us, uh, let alone to have a facility of this calibre as well. Um, getting home games here would be amazing, just having that little fortress that we can invite opposition teams in to verse. Um, so yeah, hopefully at the back end of this season, um, if it all goes well and goes ahead in August, then we might have the opportunity to start playing some AFW games out here. It obviously hasn't affected your form as a team because you're up the top nearly every year, but how did you as a team playing at Brendale, Birkenberry, Wilson Range, one or two at the Gabba, like just that jumping around everywhere? Like yeah. We, we pride ourselves on the flexibility of our team and, and venturing out to new new stadiums, new grounds. Um, we're pretty ready in that sense um, to play anywhere and anyone. Um, but yeah, having a home ground advantage will definitely be something that hopefully um, works with us for the better. Um, it might just give us that little bit of edge that we're looking for. As a female athlete, how important is it to see the club you know, setting a benchmark now and going, okay, we're going to invest in female athletes going forward and, and kind of hopefully leading the way for other sports and other teams? Where I feel really honoured to be a part of the club, especially with this project, um, it makes us as female athletes do. We feel really valued being at this club and knowing that we have that same respect that they give to the men. Um, and yeah, like you said, having this benchmark for other teams in the AFL um, competition to then look at look at us and think we need to do that will not only improve us as a club but the actual future of the competition as well. Is there a, a bit of frustration that no dates have come out yet? It's hard. Um, obviously, there's a lot of pressure on the AFL and everything at the moment. So us as players, we're just waiting to hear um, what the go is. But yeah, we'll be ready regardless. So if it does go ahead in August, then we're more than excited to play again. Sometimes people don't necessarily understand that the players are full time working elsewhere. You know, you've got holidays to plan and all that sort of stuff. How difficult is it when you're, you're trying to figure out what you're going to do at the end of the year and you, you don't know what you're playing, you don't know when you're pre-season stays, you don't have all those sorts of dates and things to, to work towards. It is, it is difficult but that's the, probably the beauty of our competition is that we have lives outside of football. Um, everyone works, you know, part-time, casual, full-time, they study um, but we play the game because we love it so we have to be flexible in that sense and um, when, when we find out dates then great, we have that little bit of period to really work through that with our employers um, and then get the ball rolling. Are you just working um, away as if it's going to start late in August in terms of training and yeah, I think it's better to be over prepared than under. Um, if we start in August, then we know as a team we're going to be fit and ready to go. Um, and if not, then we get another 12 months to get the preseason in.